Hey, welcome to Sunstone Welders. Today we're gonna look over the unboxing, setup, and getting started of the Orion Impulse Welder. This is most typically used in jewelry applications or permanent jewelry or bracelets, chains, uh, those type of applications. Everything here on the table is what comes with the welder as you unbox it. So first of all, you'll see this is the welder power supply and this is a screen. This is gonna be what you're interacting with as you are welding. On the welder, this is the stylus. You got a little electrode poking out here about a quarter of an inch. This is where the weld is gonna be coming from and the other part you'll be interacting with. This is gonna slide right into this to go behind that screen. And this screen is gonna protect your eyes as you're welding. What else is in the box? We've got two power cords. This is the AC adapter. This plugs into the back of the welder and then this plugs into your outlet. Argon tubing, that's gonna come with the welder. We do recommend that you use argon gas as you are welding. That will give you much, much better results. That will look a lot cleaner and require less uh, polishing afterwards. We have two different styles of alligator clips. We have a precision small clip and a bit of a more heftier one. These are what you will be using to attach to your parts as you are welding. Also included is a vial that has five electrodes in it. They're one millimeter in diameter. Also included is there's a little diamond drill disc inside here for sharpening the electrodes. Keeping the electrodes sharp is gonna be critical for good results. There's a little pen. This is actually fiberglass. Uh, as you twist it, the fiberglass will come out and you can use it to lightly polish something after you're finished welding. And finally, also included are the user guide. This user guide is gonna contain tips and tricks to get started welding. It's gonna go over all of setup. We offer argon gas regulator, that's separate. And we also offer argon gas. We have a tank, about yay big. You can order it directly from us and we'll ship it to you. And it's quick and easy to set up and hook up. Or if you'd rather, you also can get it locally as well. For those of you who are doing permanent jewelry, we offer a permanent jewelry kit. Uh, this is gonna be very helpful, especially as you're welding on, you know, the permanent jewelry on your clients. In this kit, there are safety glasses uh, that are pretty dark for your, for your clients to wear, some chain for practice, a leather strip, a selection of uh, delicate tools of pliers, cutters, um, and pliers with a grounding cable that you can use as well. As you are setting up the welder, it's very simple to set up. Looking at the back of the machine, let's go over plugging in everything. This is the accessory cord going to the darkening screen. That just snaps in right there. Here we have the, the AC adapter that plugs into the wall. That just slips in right there. On your argon gas for the tubing, that's gonna go in the bottom. On this, be sure to press in all the way and then kind of give it a tug to make sure it doesn't come out. And finally, for your um, alligator clip, that's a banana clip, just plugs right in right there. With everything plugged in, you're ready to weld. Hit the power switch. And now the welder is set up, ready to weld. Here's a user interface on the welder itself. It is very simple to use. Once you turn it on, you wanna push play, middle button right here. Once you have push play, it's ready to weld. And then changing settings, you can either drag the touchscreen or you can use the, uh, the plus or the minus on the touchscreen itself. Uh, as for selecting settings, I always recommend starting with a low setting and doing a test weld, seeing how it turns out. For most of your applications on jewelry, especially permanent jewelry and chains, we'll be down in the low energy ranges of between three and 10. Our recommendation is to start low, do a test weld at three watt seconds, see how it turns out, and then turn up from there if you need to. Now that you have your welder all set up and you're ready to go, let's discuss a few tips and tricks to help you get started. First of all, if you're welding a delicate chain, for example, you're going to want to take your alligator clip and you're going to want that to be on the same link that you are welding. That's going to make it be a lot easier and a lot more consistent. The further away you move that alligator clip, the least consistency you will have in your welds. So try to get on the same link if you can. Another tip, when you are welding that link, 
You don't want there to be any gap between the two sides of the link as you're welding it. You want them to be back and touching together once more. If there's a gap at all, again, the weld's not gonna be very consistent. It's either going to over melt and kind of blow it up and push it further away, or it'll be a really weak weld. So try to your hardest to get those as close together as you can and touching. Your welds will be a heck of a lot better and your clients will like it a lot more too. Another option, especially as you're welding permanent jewelry on a client, let's go ahead and clip our clip onto the link we're gonna weld. You can also weld by hand instead of welding behind the screen. So you can hold the stylus by hand and do the exact same idea where you bring it up carefully and you touch and hold steady. Just that simple. Again, this is right next to my skin. No damage to my skin, I'm just fine. As far as material selection and what you are welding, precious metals weld best. So gold, silver, even platinum weld really, really nice. Now that you have your welder all set up, you got some tips and tricks, you're ready to go. Few words of advice, practice with your welder for at least an hour. Try welding at high settings, try welding at low settings. You'll see the difference, you'll figure it out really quickly. It's a simple unit and you'll be able to get down and using it really soon. If any questions come up, please do give us a call. We're happy to help out in any way we possibly can. And finally, we do offer a lifetime warranty on this welder through a program called the Sunstone Circle. Uh, the Sunstone Circle will give you free swag, free loaner units if you ever need to send yours in for repair, uh, replacement units if we ever need to get to that point. Lifetime warranty, we take care of you. So look into this on our website, sunstonewelders.com, or reach out to your local rep. This is Bryce from Sunstone Welders signing out. Good luck.